Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna quickly go over how to replace a switched receptacle. So I'm currently in my home gym and all the outlets in here on the top part of the outlet, they're all controlled by a light switch. So there's no power unless I turn on the light switch. Now the bottom part of the outlet has power all the time. So this is a switch receptacle, half and half. Now you could go for the entire thing being controlled by a switch if you wanted to, or I could undo it and I could have it where it has full power all the time. But for this, I'm gonna do a direct replacement and keep it exactly as the current wiring is. To have my new receptacle have a switch controlled outlet on the top and to have constant power on the bottom outlet, what I need to do is I need to break this little brass connection right here in the middle. This connects with two terminals so that if power were connected to either one of these, then it would transfer all the way across along both outlets to have power at the same time. But since I want one to be controlled by a switch and the other one to have constant power all the time, breaking this prevents that power from flowing between the two, allowing for that top one to solely have power when the switch is turned on and to have no power when the switch is turned off. To break that brass tab off, simply grab a pair of pliers, grab a hold of that tab, and twist it off. And now you've got no more connection. At this point, I can simply replace my old receptacle with my new one by just attaching the wires to the exact same locations on the new one and I would be good to go. Now I have two additional options. If I don't like having a switch receptacle, what I could do is I don't break the little brass terminal connection between the two hot terminals and this would allow the power to transfer between the two. And I hook everything up the exact same way and then I can go to the light switch, remove the light switch, cap the wires there and install a blank cover plate. At that point, my receptacle is returned to normal operating function basically, where it is gonna be hot all the time and there won't be any light switch involved. I could also choose to make it where the receptacle is entirely controlled by the switch rather than the half and half. To do that, in this case, I would remove the black wire since it is my constant power and I would cap it. And all I would do is leave the red wire hooked up, but again, I would not break the terminal connection on the receptacle. This would allow the power to flow between the two and give me the entire receptacle controlled by the light switch. So that's also an option if you feel like having the whole receptacle controlled by a switch or if you don't want to have the switch involved at all anymore. Since I'm going to leave my receptacles as switched with the bottom part being con with constant power, I'm simply going to do the one for one replacement here and remove my wires. And now I'm just going to reattach them to my new receptacle in the exact same spots. Now for the neutral wire, it doesn't matter which one I attach it to since you don't break the terminal on that side. Okay guys, that concludes how to replace and wire your switch receptacles. So they are extremely easy. And again, I gave you three options in there. You can do the exact replacement like I did, or if you wanted to, I talked about how to have the entire outlet switched or just to revert it back to not using a switch entirely and eliminating the switch. I hope this helped you guys out. And if it did, then give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.